What's up guys, my name is Tiger. I'm going to show you how to install Sarge's AI framework into your dayz.st server. Okay, before we begin this tutorial, there's three different things you're going to need. You're going to need your dayzmission.pbo file. You can get this from your control panel, or you can get it offline. You're also going to need a PBO manager. This will allow you to extract your dayz mission file so that you can edit the files inside. You're also going to need the framework itself, and you're going to need two bits of code here and here that will allow you to run the script on your server. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is go onto your day's admission PBO and extract it using PBO Manager. Then we're going to go into this, and we're going to create a new folder called add ons. After this, we're going to go into the framework itself using Renoir. Go into add ons, grab these three files, and drag them into your add ons folder. Then, afterwards, we're going to go into our init.sqf file, edit this, go to the very bottom, get this piece of code that will be in the description. and paste it in. Then we can save this and exit out of this file. Then after this we want to go into the description.ext file, edit this again, go to the very bottom, get this piece of code, and paste it in. We can save this and exit out. This is the main installation for this framework so now all you have to do is configure it to what you want for this you have to go into add-ons go into the sarge folder go into the map config folder and depending on which map i'm using i'm going to be doing chinaris you go into the gprs not the grid the gprs i'm going to edit this and here you can see this is where the units will spawn So most of the towns and cities. So as you can see here, in Kamnenka, the default value is one soldier group and two survivor groups. To change this, you can change these numbers here. So if you want two soldier groups, you change one to two. Also, this is the probability of the, of the unit spawning. So for soldiers, it's 75%, but if you want to change it so they're always there, you change it to 100 these numbers here is the amount of people in each group so if you if you want five people in each group so if you want five soldiers in Kamnenka change this to a five if you don't want any units in Kamnenka at all you change all these to zero you can do this for the rest of the towns and cities to change it to what you want if you want to if you want to set static spawn so say if you want them in the middle of a field somewhere you have to you want to scroll just above where it says end of market definition section and you want to get a piece of code like this which will be in the description you want to copy this and paste it into here okay so say if you want in Chinaris you want bandits to spawn ne next to the side of the road in a field not near any of the city so you can um, so they can shoot while people go past so what you want to do is you want to go past road ambush and these coordinates here is where the unit will spawn so to get the coordinates that you want go onto the 3d editor which I'll make another tutorial for or you can go onto the database and get your coordinates it's up to you okay next you want to go to the bottom again under add here if needed get a piece of code like this which will be in the description again and paste this in change that to road ambush and this bit is very important guys so listen up to this bit this bit where it says castle has to correspond with where it says castle here so say if you change this to road the other bit has to say road that's very important. Okay, 
Next, this, these numbers here, this one stands for soldiers. So if you put a one there, you'll spawn soldiers. If you put a two there, you'll spawn survivors. A three there, you'll spawn bandits. This number here is for the amount of snipers. So if you say there, if you want four snipers on the side of the road, you can put four wherever you want. And this number stands for riflemen. This here where it says fortify, that means that they will fortify the area, normally standing in a triangle shape. And if you want them to ambush, like road ambush, you just type in ambush. And if you want them to patrol, you just type in patrol. And um, that's it for the static spawns, so you can repeat that step as many times as you want. Okay guys, that is the end of the tutorial. I hope I made it easy enough for you to all to understand. Now if you want to request a tutorial on any of other scripts that you um, want to implement on your server, feel free to PM me or comment on the video. Cheers guys.